what's up guys so i'm back again with uh, another message okay now from the lord huh now i just want y'all to know go ahead and like and share the video because there is somebody out there that needs to be encouraged there's somebody that may not know and we is our responsibility to make sure that we get the me the message out and the word out to those that need it hello we supposed to be encouraged one to another temples one to another that's what the word of god says praise god so um i wrote some things down and so what i'll be doing is i'll be reading over my notes and i'm gonna get into the message okay so god is giving his people the ability to possess the nations over those who have oppressed his chosen they will not circumvent god's testing you can't there's no way to go around god's testing okay some have tried to take shortcuts there have been some that have seen the light in you so they try to attach themselves to you but god is saying it's not gonna work hmm he said, no, I see what you plotted. Like, like in the book of Ezekiel, when he was he was telling Ezekiel, look at them. They in there burning incense in the dark like nobody can see them. Like God can't see what you doing behind closed doors. God knows everything, okay? But they cannot go around mm, 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 mm. God's testing, okay? And God is going to give you relief, okay? Um... For uh, scripture reference, I'll be uh, referencing Isaiah 14, okay? But there's no more delay. These people have tried to make you doubt in your abilities. They've tried to make you doubt in uh, your faith in God. Yeah, and the enemy always, the woman of God, I heard the woman of God said it. The, the enemy will always try to attack your integrity, okay so that's just something that you might need to know going forward but it will not work what they try to do to you praise be to god glory oh hallelujah it won't work um and for those of you who may have found yourself in the position of actually doing this god is actually giving you a chance to repent he's actually giving you a chance to come back to him Okay, that's why certain things that's been happening lately. If you pay attention, you think this pandemic happened by coincidence? Do you thought it, you thought it was a happen chance? No, it's not. It's intentional. So God is allowing um, uh, his his chosen to know that he's with you and he's protecting you. And it's not going to work because you're of your obedience and continuing in your faith and building. Even though you may have fell down a couple of times. Because trust me, we all have, baby. Ain't nobody perfect. Okay? But at the end of the day, as long, you've been faithful and you've come back to God and you, you saw his face. That's what matters. Praise be to God. Rebe shatara bo sata. Spirit of the living God move in this place right now in the name of Jesus. And he said, um, so there are some people that have looked on to on you and like, oh, why why is it her? Why is it him? Why it gotta be them? Because God said so. God said so. So who are you to say differently? Okay, and a lot of us, I got that rolled down too. A lot of us need to stop focusing on others and thank the Father for blessing them because God is able to tailor make blessings specifically for your situation. So you need to worry about your situation. Okay, be anxious for nothing because when we get into anxiety and worrying and being anxious, we take away trusting god and having faith in god so god is saying stop being anxious i'm gonna bless you when the time is right you may not be ready for your blessing right now huh you may need to go through a little bit more because this is also a season season of healing it is time for you to heal from those past wounds if you pay attention glory be to god if you pay attention 
the past few years, there's been a tremendous amount of spiritual warfare. People trying to get back in touch with their, you know, African roots, especially the black community. And, you know, and God has been revealing a lot of things. We are in the birth pain, people. We are in the birth pains. If you don't know what that means, baby, read Revelation. I'm here to tell you, it is time for you for us all to get back right and even if you might be filled with the spirit of god if you're filled with the holy ghost you still have to rededicate yourself on a day-to-day -day basis praise god okay but it is time for us to go through pruning and healing it's time for us to get out of all that negativity it's time for us to 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 reinstate ourselves glory be to god it's time for us to reinstate ourselves in the kingdom of god and time for us to spread this message it's been long enough we we didn't hit long enough it's time to come out huh god is finna move mightily and it, you will be blind not to see glory be to god you'll be blind if you don't see because some people know the truth and they still choose to keep doubting God. And God is tired of that. There will be no rest for the wicked. That's what I kept hearing in my spirit on yesterday. A curse cannot come without cause and there will be no rest for the wicked. Huh? So if you are in rebellion, if you are uh, practicing, actively practicing witchcraft or divination, God is saying, listen, you need to repent. Come back to me. I love you. I want you to be a part of what I have going on. I want you to. Now, let's not get it twisted now. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Huh? What's not going to happen is you cannot circumvent the laws of reaping and sowing either. And let, uh, uh, only grace be to God because you're going to have to reap what you sow. Because let's remember Esau and Jacob. Huh? Jacob stole the birthright and the blessing from Isaac. And what happened in Genesis 31, it says that he, he, he tried to send, you know, uh, 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 gifts and herds ahead of him to make it to Esau because he thought Esau was still mad at him, not knowing that God separated them that he might heal. Look how this all coming full circle. Glory be to God. Look, oh my goodness. So because of that, he still rep what he sold he reaped what he sold because of what uh, Laban did to him with Leah and Rachel you cannot get out of the laws of reaping and sowing but this is a season of healing this is a season of restoration and when I tell you when God is going to restore he's going to restore better than he re than what you ha had in the beginning huh it's time to wake up people I don't know about you, but I want all my blessings. Everything that the devil didn't ever stole from my family, I want it all back. And what it say? What's the law? Huh? Double for your trouble. Hmm? I want a hundredfold what he stole. That's what I want. And that's not being greedy. That's faith. Huh? That's the promise. Huh? Because everybody that ever ruled, with the exception of our Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? Most people. Most people that was under the promise were wealthy people but some people will look at it like oh they just greedy stop going after pastors stop putting your mouth on god's anointing he's not pleased with that huh sometimes you can talk about somebody that's anointed by god and you end up cursing yourself it is it's the season baby for restoration and i i want all mine huh i ain't mad at nobody but the devil i tell you now uh, if you ever did anything to me, baby, I forgive you. Because guess what? I want what's coming to me. Now, I can't speak for nobody else. I don't know if you want what's coming to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But I want what's coming to me. I want I want what my father got in mind for me. Because I know it's going to be far greater than what I could ever think of. Hmm? His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Okay? And, but this is a time when you need to be fasting and you need to be praying and you need to be spending time with God. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is time for you to spend some time with the Lord and get close to him so he can reveal to you what it is your next step. Oh, my goodness. What it is your next steps are. It's time. 
It's time. I, it might not feel like it. You might not see it in the natural. But God said, walk by faith and not by sight. You might not feel like you're getting the recognition that you need. But if God placed you in that field, then you're going to get it. Believe. Believe only. Do not doubt. And do not be afraid. Okay? So I pray that this helps somebody and this encourages somebody and this led somebody back to him that, you know, went astray. It's, it's, it's as simple as changing your mind. You know how when you make your, your mind up that you're going to take your next, next breath? Praise God. When you make your mind up, when you're about to go to the store, huh? Huh? You and you put on your clothes and your shoes and whatever else, and you go on out there with your money. Okay, well, it's as simple as that. All you got to do is change your mind. And that's for that's if you're in the body of Christ or if you're joining us now, praise God. Because the, the Bible says, when one is saved, all of heaven rejoices. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Listen, we all got flaws. We all got shortcomings. Ain't nobody perfect. Nobody. And I understand it. Ain't nobody judging you. But you need to be set free. That pain that you feeling, you don't need to be feeling that. God created us to have joy. And we find our joy is in the strip. Oh, of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time, baby. It's time to take them chains out, that bondage out. It's time to put all that old stuff away and step into what you were created to do. This is your season. If you would only receive it. This is your season. Be clear. God is not a God of confusion. No, he is not. So if you are doing something and you are not sure about it, you need to go to God. And you need to ask him to guide your path. Hmm? Lean out to your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge the Lord. And he will direct your path. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Okay? I love you with the love of God. I see y'all next time. Will y'all see me next time? <laughs>